page five tutorial course. Um, normally we do the layout element video first and then we do the content. Um, but today's page is a collection page. And to be honest, it's mostly an exercise in duplication. As you can see, it's just a massive amount of handbags and different style of beach bags and things like that. So we're just going to do everything at one time today because we're just going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate a bunch. Um, let's just quickly do a rundown of what we see here. So we've just got this section at the top, no header, no anything. That's literally just a section with the background. Now here's the heading, the classic collection. They do have a tab here. Um, if you want to know how to work with tabs, check out the blue apron landing page video. Uh, that goes more extensively into it. Uh, for this tab, there's so many products, it would take ages to fill in all three. So we'll put in the tab element, but then we'll just do the first tab filled out with products, okay? And then way at the bottom, I mean, it's a massive page. It would take a lot of time to actually fill all this in. Uh, but at the bottom, what do you know? They have a triple section with some text and some routed buttons. So let's just jump into it. This will be a quick video just to get you used to using that duplication uh, method to, to get things done quickly, okay? So first, first thing we always do is a standalone section. I go to find the images. There we go. So I saved the image beforehand. As always, we're going to have to align it. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to repeat itself right now. We don't want that to happen. We definitely want it to cover. And we probably want it centered. So we usually do that, all right? Let's go ahead and add our padding. Let me take a look at theirs. Ah, so this is kind of a, I see there's three photos here. It's not actually just one photo. So let's go ahead. Good chance to review our inspect function. And it's only going to let me, it's only going to let me select that center image, of course. Okay, that makes things a little more difficult, but that's okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to screen grab that whole three images together, okay? Screen grab that, and then we're just going to throw it in the section. There we go. Very nice. Okay, apologies for that. I thought I'd saved the entire image, but it looks like it only gave me the one in the center. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. I said it was going to be a short video and here we are <laughs> having to do something unexpected. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully it's nicely aligned. Yeah, it is. I already had it centered and covered. So cool. Let's add our padding. How much can you see? So you can see above this girl's head. So let's go with 15%, maybe even more. Cool. 20, that's massive. Maybe let's go 10 and 10. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, top section, done. That would have been a little bit easier if I had figured out that the image wasn't correct at the beginning, but that's fine. Okay, all we got here is classic collection. Now they have search functions, sort and refine. We can't add that right now, unfortunately. So we'll just focus on the design elements for now. Okay, heading in the center. Can you guess what font that is? I think it's probably Montserrat. So let's see, classic collection. Classic collection, heading one. Let's center that. That look like Montserrat? Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, cool. That's all that's in that section that we'll do. Now we have a tab, but as I said, we're not going to 
go too crazy on the tab. Choose this top one here. There we go. We have tab one, tab two, tab three. What do they have going on? All collections, classic and baby. Let's change those up. Select the tabs. General. What did it say? All collections. All collections. Classic. And baby. There we go. Good. I think they have a little divider in the middle too, but uh, believe that we're not focusing on the tab right now. As I said, if you want to learn extensively how to use the tab, go to the blue apron video and check that out. Let's get the design elements of this one done. This will be kind of our speed round video. Okay. Now we're going to put in four. There we go. What do we have for each? We have, okay, so it looks like they actually have a slideshow in each, but we can't do the hover action. We could put two images in each, but as I said, this is a speed round. We just want to get this looking as closely as possible and as quickly as possible. Okay, so they've just got image, paragraph, header, paragraph. Okay, and you guessed it. We're going to be doing a lot of duplication. Okay, toss my image in there. Toss my heading. Toss my two paragraphs. I want that to squeeze in on top of that. And then a paragraph literally just for the price on the bottom. Okay, let's select our column. Whoa, no, I just want this column. Yeah. Okay, let's align everything. Let's put in our product image. Which one is it first? Okay, so it looks like turquoise and red and white. There we go. Image is in. Classic Quinn bag, $45. Okay. Classic, now they've got this italicized. Yeah, that looks fine. And I think it is Montserrat. Yeah, classic. Quinn bag, Montserrat. 45 bucks. There we go. $45 and that's Montserrat. Okay. Cool. You guessed it. Well, I hope you guessed it. We're going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. All right. Okay. We'll put some other things and, and, and change those up a little bit. Let's change this image. These are the same, I guess, just two, two variants of the same product. And this one. And this one. Okay, you get the picture. We can change the title here. Oh, I went and clicked on that product. Abstract Daily Tote, 30 bucks. Okay, let's go ahead. Abstract, what did I spell there? Abstract Daily. Oh my goodness. There we go. Abstract daily tote, 30 bucks. Okay. Should we just delete this and duplicate this one? Change the image. As you see, with duplication, you get the hang. You can remove things, add them. Now let's select the entire row. Okay. Let's duplicate that bad boy. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. There you go. So as you've built some, you can see that it gets quicker, right? We're now getting four products per row and you would just have to duplicate, repeat, duplicate, repeat, duplicate, repeat to get all of these products in here. 
But like I said, we just want the visual element. So I'm satisfied with that. The last thing we need to do is bam, way down at the bottom, we have a triple section. Okay. So grab me a new section. Grab me a triple section. What do we got? Images, paragraphs, buttons. So image, paragraph, block, and button. Okay, it's a rounded button, so we can actually just get the predetermined style there. Very nice. Let's center, change our font. Cool, let's, uh, might as well put in some text. Here we go, what does their button say? Shop now, and it's black. But capitalized, nope. Okay, shop, shop now, background, black, maybe some bold text. Yeah, sweet. Add some padding. Very nice, let's put in our first image, purple, purple, lavender background. There it is. Good. Nicely sized. Get our column. Duplicate, duplicate. Image. What's next? Blue, then pink. Blue. And pink. There we go. So, record time for that. We might as well just polish off the last bit here and this smaller paragraph there we go button automatically moves with it that looks a little wonky to me but they did it on their page so no harm done whatsoever so let's go ahead and save and publish and let's give it a quick comparison you know, obviously, we did not add the hundreds of products that they have on there. We're just looking for a quick design duplication. Okay, here we have it. We have our three tabs. We obviously didn't put anything in these two. As I said, for an examination of the tab element, go to the Blue Apron special offer landing page video. Anyway, we've got, we don't have their header, but we've got Nicely aligned image. Our heading is much bigger than those theirs, but that's not a big deal. Okay, got four products per row and going all the way down. I don't know how many rows I did, probably five. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Oh, they've got a load more button. That would that would require some custom code. So we're missing that, but. That's okay. Oh, and it looks like they've linked each of these images. We've been through that, absolutely. Um, I can show you again, just in case. Open the link that that goes to. Oh, it's gone to <laughs> a whole nother range of products, so I would go ahead and copy this URL. I would go down to that image, select it. In general, I would go action, open URL and I would paste it. And now that image when clicked will bring us to the same page as, as their image did on theirs, okay? Save and publish, we'll just take one more look. And there we have it, okay? A lot of duplication, but Pretty quick, once you get going, you would just have to repeat the process for each each tab, regardless. 
looking pretty good. So give it a shot. Uh, if, you, if you really think you need the practice, by all means, go ahead and put in all these uh, photos and titles and prices and everything. Uh, it's definitely good practice, but I think once you get the hang of that duplication, then uh, then you suddenly realize that it's not such a huge task. Okay, so enjoy the video. Good luck. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.